Hello everybody, my name is Oris Daniel, gospel film reviewer and critic. So I'm very delighted to bring another short film review to you all this afternoon. So as usual, the way we normally do it, sit back, relax and enjoy the review. Yeah, deep thoughts are at it again. They've come again with another short film titled Listen. I hope you all have seen it. If you've not yet seen it, I advise you all to check it out on Okoyemi Akintunde or Jerry Nde's Facebook page or on YouTube. Go check it out and then come back. Let's discuss in the comment section, okay? So like I said earlier, let's dive in straight into it. The name of the short film is titled Listen, written, produced, and directed by Okoyemi Akintunde, a deep thought short movie. I must say it's a great one. So the music, the DOP on the set of the movie was Yano Olua Adebayo. Lighting was done by Gabriel Yusuf and Timilayin Abraham. The editor was Muyiwa Adeshino and Gabriel Yusuf. And then the sound man was Gabriel Yusuf. And then the director and producer Okoyemi Akintunde or Jerinde. So this short film features cast like the husband played by Mayo Shore. Adekoya and then the wife played by Okoyemi Akintunde herself and then the lady played by Titi Lola or Jerry Day. Yeah, so before I finally read the short film, let me be giving you a brief summary of the storyline. It tells the story of a husband who would not just listen to his wife. He feels he knows everything that if the wife wants to um, admonish him or give him an advice concerning an issue, he shuts her up and is like, what do you know? And then at the end of the day, he landed himself into deep trouble. He had an accident and I think became paralyzed and could not do anything for himself he had to now rely on his wife the moral lesson in this short film is just telling us that um let men husbands listen to your wives listen to your wife's counsel very very important i must say the message in this short film was so great and powerful and timely i mean seeing the fact that most men think they know it all they think they know everything so they're not just ready to give their wives listening ear straight up to the things i love and things i did not like about the short film i love the cinematography i love the direction i love the sound i love the editing i love the story and the message i love the acting 100 percent i love the carefulness of the cinematographer and the director um as well in seeing the fact that the camera did not they were careful that the camera did not appear in the mirror of the bed in the bedroom scene i checked i looked at the mirror of the bed and i saw that the camera did not appear and, and i'm like wow the cinematographer and the director were so so on point and they were so careful so i give them kudos for that i love the message it was short and straight to the point and brief and i love the fact that just when you are about to see if there's going to be another scene the short film ends and then you get a lot of lesson to learn i mean you, you are expecting something else and then the short film ends at that um point i think i love that uh, the message was still there and it was the message was still strong and it was powerful i love that it was straight to the point shout out to the things i did not like about the short film the message was a kind of contradictory to record keeper i mean last year deep thoughts did a movie a short film titled record keeper and in that short film we were advised not to keep negative records of what our partner in marriage have done to us now not until this one came up so this one coming up now um the wife was a kind of keeping negative records in the sense that she was just hitting the man with um negative records things that the man the husband has done in the past she kept on bringing it up and up and um, i think that was a kind of contradictory to record keeper i think um there is a way the wife should have still said the whole thing or there's a way the wife should have still um resolved the issue or said that same thing without having to um hit the man back and front with um the negative uh, the negativity of his past so i think it's the message is contradictory to record keeper the next thing i did not like about the short film was the script the the script and the dialogue was a kind of contradictory for the, the first time his wife said from the first day of our marriage i would always want to give you an advice but you felt i had nothing to offer so i mean that that problem started on the first day of their marriage i mean it started right from the onset then later as the film went on she later said this lady lured you into sleeping with her you slept with her she got pregnant they removed you from being a minister that was the day you started falling that was the day you started falling so it was now like it did not start right from the first day of the marriage it started later when he began to um veer off the path of god or go astray so i think um it, it was a kind of contra that was a kind of contradictory the last thing i did not like about the short film was a kind of the message was a kind of unrealistic in the sense that the the, the concubine and the, the, the sister who came to the husband for counseling i don't see a probability whereby the sister will be trying to law um somebody when his wife is at home in the presence of his wife she's a kind of coming close to sit close to the husband when the wife is 
clothes or when the wife is around i think that should have been done in his office or somewhere else where the wife wasn't around to to see directly i think that was unrealistic this were the only things i did not like about the short film i must say it is a brilliant one and a good one if you've not seen it i advise you all to go and check it out at last i'll be rating the short film a 3.1 over 5 um, thank you very much my name remains oris daniel of course keep your fingers crossed for more short film and long movies reviewed from me bye for now i'll see you all later in the next one